Hello! So this week it's a little bit more of a tips and tricks video. I hope you like these as well. And these are my recommendations for booking cheap flights. Oh, so the first one, which is really important, book as early as possible. So there's like an urban myth that, or an urban legend that it's cheaper to go last minute, but Trust me, I worked for an airline as a client and they told me, no, that's just nonsense. The earlier you book, the cheaper the price will be. And the last minute myth only goes like if you're one person and super flexible. So if you're willing to leave one or two days before and you don't care about the destination. So yeah, definitely book as early as possible. Don't wait because the prices will only go up. My second recommendation on how to book cheap flights would be to, uh, well, know where you're booking. Skyscanner is by far my favorite website for booking flight tickets because they have this awesome monthly overview and you can check like in at one glance if it's easier to fly or it's cheaper to fly on Monday or on Tuesday while you have to like constantly go back on other websites and then fill in different dates and then check if that price is cheaper they don't have that I've heard of other websites but I haven't found any website which is as cheap as Skyscanner so I would definitely recommend you to check Skyscanner sometimes but rarely it can be cheaper to look on the airline website but no like 90% of the time Skyscanner has the best deals number three please if you have searched for flight tickets on a device so for instance a laptop a computer or your mobile device and you haven't booked the flights immediately because of course you know you have to maybe consult someone or whatever um, if you're going to check the same website on the same device delete the cookies because websites well airline booking websites they leave cookies on your device and the next time you go uh, on that website the price will definitely be higher so don't forget to delete those cookies tip number four is sometimes it's really cheaper to book a package deal so for instance Expedia and I think Skyscanner has this also nowadays they have like package deals flights and hotel so one time I was very flexible I was traveling by myself I booked a holiday to the Dominican Republic a four-star hotel for a week including the flight for 700 euros seriously a flight ticket to the Dominican usually costs well maybe that price so it's definitely worth checking out if the package deals might be cheaper than just buying a ticket and booking a hotel separately and the last recommendation number five it really pays off to subscribe to newsletters from airlines because they often have really good deals the only disadvantage I've noticed with myself is you have to be super flexible uh, regarding to the destination and the date that you want to leave and I'm not that flexible, unfortunately. I really like going with the flow, but it, it just never seems to work out for me. But if you are that person, definitely subscribe to those newsletters because they, they do have awesome deals. I've seen crazy prices. And unfortunately, at that time, wasn't interested in that destination. But still, if you are, then go for it. Put a thumbs up to let me know that you found this information valuable. Also, um, if you feel like it, you can subscribe for more videos. I make travel vlogs and also vlogs in Amsterdam. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.